Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own reports in Project. So on the screen, I've got a report that I've created based on this Gantt chart. So this is the Gantt chart, some information there, partly completed. And then I've gone to reports, created my own reports, and you can see I've got different ones in there. So I've got Steve one, which is that one. And then if I go back to report, I've got Steve, which is that one, and Steve 3, which is that one, all very similar. So I want to create a new report. So let's just go back to the Gantt chart and look at this information. So I'll just recreate one of those reports from scratch. So you go to reports, you've got all these preloaded reports like burn down and go to reports, um, cost overview, things like that. But I like to create my own report. So to create your own report, you basically just click on new report. And you've got options here to create a blank one or one with a chart, starting with a chart or a table or two charts, whichever one you want. But I'm going to go for the blank option and give it a name. So the name is going to be um, progress. Let's call it progress report. It's called progress report and that's what the title will be across the top and then it's up to you now to populate this with what you want so first of all I'm going for a table and it gives you straight away the summary information for this report which is 54% complete now what you've got once you click onto these you want the information the fields to appear on the right here I'll just bring this across a little bit so it's um, you can see it you've got at the top tasks and then resources now that's the same report but flicked over to all the resources and then down the bottom underneath you can see the fields that are actually ticked so you've got the start finish date so what you've got underneath all of these is lots and lots of fields that you can expand all to do with the resources. So let's have a look at all these. There's loads of them. Now, you, do, you really do need to expand these out to sort of get an idea of what's available for you to add into this table. Come all the way down there. You can see there's quite a lot, a lot of custom fields you can select. So I'll just leave the, those as they are now. But what I want to do is look at this at the bottom. So you've got all resources, including Microsoft Office paper and computers and stuff like that. So you've got the option to click on group there. And you can then type a group name in. So if, if you've given anybody a group, you can type it in. So if I go admin, let's see what happens there. I don't know if I've given anybody a group. Yeah, Ben is admin. Let's... Um, all resources and then these two are probably training so if I if I select group again and type trainers I think it's trainers not trainers let's have a quick look uh, it's on the resource sheet what did I call them trainer and then this manager so if you fill this information in, you can then do the the filtering on that so now I need to go back to my report and because I clicked off it halfway through, good news is it's not lost, progress report. And then you can come and take that filter off. So all resources. So if I do that group again, it's just trainer. I want, and then it's the two trainers. But I don't want just them, I want them all. So I'll put back to all resources. And then group by, and then you've got group by um, different objects there, group, no link fields on that one. Let's go for this um, type, resource type. So we've got work and then material and then cost. Doesn't really tell you anything that one. Let's go for level. See what, let's go all levels. That makes a little bit more sense. So you've got it broken down like that. So let's go for filter. So we're going for, um, we want to filter by, let's have a look at what can filter by. Not material, so let's go for work only. And then that gives you what, what I want. And then you can probably get resource type off. 
put it to no group, see what happens. There we go. So it's all levels, all resources. So do I like that? That's okay. And let's go back up to the top and see if there's anything else we can um, put onto here. Let's have a look at work. So we've got the start finish, and I didn't really tell you. I know it says when you start in the project, but it doesn't actually tell you anything. So if I could take work, that's probably a little bit better. It gives you um, the actual work that they've done, and then remaining work so that's a better report so I quite like that so let's click off that for a minute and then let's do another table and we'll get the project stuff up there and then we could just move that one and move this one let's get them in order so we want them so I want that to be at the top that's the project and I don't really need the start and finish date on that one so if I click right click on there I can remove that and I can remove that and then I can maybe adjust this a little bit so it's not like so. So sit that in the middle. So this is a project, 54% totally complete. These are the people on it. Now obviously I need um, some information about the, the tasks themselves. So I could do that as a chart. Now you've got all the different types of chart that you can select. I'll just pick this one and then push it to where I want it and let's push it over to the left so what we're looking at here we're looking at bring this back over so I can see these fields in a bit more detail we're on tasks and you've got different options there look now if I I've got actual work remaining work work and all active tasks no group level one Let's see what it looks like if I do all subtasks. Nope, do it like that. So I probably can keep it like that actually. That's okay. It's telling me how many hours work, actual work, remaining work, and planned work. So that's okay for that one. And then I'll do another one. And then let's look at doing this slightly different. If I go for time up there, this is giving me like a time scale. Let's just widen that graph a little bit. So we've got active tasks. So that's okay. We've got no group, but I can group by whatever I want, different things. And then it's on the summary. If I go all subtasks, whoa, no good. If I go level one, software implementation. Yeah, work actual. That's not bad actually, I quite like that one. Make it a little bit bigger. So what I could do is just shove that up a little bit there and then push that across. Yeah. So and then if I just add data labels on these, it gives me the hours per day. So I've got, that's the actual hours per job. What I haven't got is a graph with resources on it, so let's um, do another one. Do a pie chart. Let's go for resources, and then we need to we need to get this sorted out. Um, let's do not all resources, work only. Yeah, and so that's work only. Let's just push that down a little bit underneath this and do that I'll move it in a minute Wrong one. okay got it down there make it the same sort of size as that one and then we've got people and then Again, if I just um, click off this for a second, so that goes out of the way. What I want to do here is, let's just minimise this a little bit so I can see easier. So we've got the complete, we've got a graph there overarching. Um, now I want to put data labels on this. If I go click on that little plus, data labels. Yeah, I've got it on there, that's okay. I don't need any titles. So, 
what you can do is you can just position these however you want them. So basically, any report like this has to tell you some information. If it's not telling you any information, it's not doing the job. So this is telling me what each resource is doing, what they've got left. If I zoom this back in so you can see it a bit better. You know, so you've got hours, hours done, hours completed and stuff like that. So this legend at the bottom here needs sorting out. But um, it's a case of positioning the graphs wherever you want them, uh, tables wherever you want them, and then not trying to do too much. That is probably slightly cluttered, to be honest, um, for what I like. Uh, you could do another table at the bottom. You could do another report. I mean, there's nothing stopping you going to report, new report, and then just having a graph. Um, I'll just call this progress one having a graph at the bottom you know doing whatever you want on this one so this is level one this is all subtasks make it bigger um, it's on tasks so that's okay milestone and then go and tick on whatever extra fields that you want and then this is just another another chart add the um, elements do you want to it so if you want the data labels tick them on that one as well and that one data labels data table no, don't like that. okay and then off you go with the next thing so basically that's all you do when you're doing your custom reports I mean I think the hardest thing to get your head around when you first get into project is this stuff so what fields are available under tasks what fields are available under resources what does this mean category time so that's going to give you the dates you know and then um, you can edit the dates you could do a date range if you wanted to start finish or you could change the units maybe that's that might be better to months okay that does look better August just one month don't like all this get rid of that and then you just go and add the um, the data labels for this which doesn't tell you a lot actually so that's not a great example I've shown you there. So you've got um, all these different options there. Name is what it was on. So and then you just want to group this by uh, filter this by work only. So it just shows you the people. Yeah. So you can see what they're doing there. And that's it. So hopefully you found that useful.